Now y'all know I already have a tutorial on this on my channel, but since you guys seem like y'all can't find it and YouTube is not pushing it, let's go ahead and redo this only for this tutorial. Last time I did have it with a makeup tutorial, so maybe y'all don't want to watch the makeup tutorial. Who knows? Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Walanda, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my infamous red lip tutorial. It's fairly easy, and I know you guys are like, girl, why couldn't you just answer the comments? Like, ugh, girl. Listen, I wasn't ignoring y'all, but imagine me having to retype that over and 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 over because I get this question all the time so i wanted to make sure i have a specific video for you guys to refer to and guess what i will always have the link in the description box as a default so you guys can always just come right to this video and see how i do it it's not hard but at the same time it is a process it's not just one item you feel me it, it's a process so i just wanted to make sure you guys are getting the exact look exact results it's either me in red lips now or it's me with a fancy lip gloss that's basically all i wear so if you guys know about red lips all red lips are not created equal and especially for us dark skin girls we have a very hard time to just find anything that's suitable for our skin tone just because you know the world was not wired to to include us okay so we gotta search high and low and pay the premium for what we want but i did find the perfect combination of red lips and i've been wearing this for years 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 every time you see me in a red lip on a video in person on a picture this is my combo so pay attention because i'm only saying this once okay all right first and foremost make sure your lips are moisturized I normally would say, oh, go with the Vaseline, go with the Carmes. Being that I've done this with many combinations prior, I see the best result, the best long lasting results are with the ones that are not heavy petroleum based. So I've been using a lip mask and this is the lip mask I've been using. Um, I've had this for <laughs> from Sephora for my birthday, but I do, well, it's finished now. I did have the big bottle and I'm going to go and re-up that big bottle because I do really like this lip mask for under my application like this. Literally any lip application that I have, I normally use this. I don't use any chaps, other chapsticks anymore because if you're wearing a liquid lipstick on top, it could crack the liquid lipstick. So I realized lip mask works way better. I've already applied it on, but if you want to try and just use your Carmex, whatever you have at home, go ahead and do so to each their own. But being that I've been doing this for years, I realized the um, lip mask has worked very very well another thing i want to mention is make sure your lips are not peeling especially because you're going to apply a dry product on top of it and you don't want it to look like your lips are parched okay so if you have any dead skin make sure you either remove that or exfoliate that off or just wait until it naturally falls off before you start applying dry products like a liquid lipstick on top the next step is black pencil <laughs> not a, just a black pencil but a black lip liner or eyeliner i think this is an eyeliner that i just yeah that i just use as a lip liner it really doesn't matter they do the same thing basically you could use any of them that you have in your house wear whatever we want you could wear dior you could wear milani you could wear whatever okay so this is not a picky part when it comes to outlining my lips i don't over outline at all i have enough lips i don't need to overdo it so if you guys like that look go ahead and do so but as for me on my face i will not be over outlining all right so after i line my lips the next step is a base before i apply the top so for the base i feel like you could use basically any base i used to use um just regular lipstick but i've always loved going back to the nyx soft matte lip creams and i always get the monte carlo one it's a very nice blue base soft matte lip cream um yeah i like it because it does leave your lips soft it doesn't dry it out i just always do it i i like it so <laughs> i'm gonna put it on and make sure i blend it in even on top of the black 
All right, afterwards, your lips just look like this. Um, I normally just let it dry a little bit. And then after that, I go in with my top coat. All right, so for the top coat, this is the star, the main attraction, the it factor. This is the only red lip top coat, liquid lipstick that I've only used and will recommend to any chocolate girl because this is the best the best pigmented the best comfort the best um undertone which is blue based you know blue paint blue based lipstick um complements us dark skin girls compared to like the oranges and the yellows and all of that so you guys like i love this lipstick so bad to the fact that it's so hard to find it in the u.s for some reason i don't know why i'm not gonna only say in the u.s but in atlanta it's so hard to find in any of the stores it's, never stocked up but i normally just order it online and i order like three four at a time so i can have it in stocked in my stash but when i came to dubai they actually have it available um in the store so i definitely stocked up some more <laughs> i bought like three more but this is the milani more matte lip creams and this is in the color devotion and i've been using this liquid lipstick ever since it was another name before devotion because after a while they did change it i don't know why but they did change it and it came back a little bit darker um than what it really what it previously was and the formula was changed just a little bit as well um, but this is the only top coat liquid lipstick red that I wear hands down recommended to any chocolate girl. I'm all stocked up with this liquid lipstick and yeah, you just apply it like you would any liquid lipstick. So after you apply it, the last thing to do is just let it dry. Once everything dries up and turns matte, it is gorgeous. It looks very powdery and it feels powdery as well. It doesn't feel dry at all. Your lips can move. Your lips are comfortable. It doesn't take long to dry at all. Um, you guys, this is a tutorial. So this is literally how I get my red lip all the time it looks good in every picture and every lighting i absolutely love this combination i love this product and that's how i do my lippy <laughs> all right guys thank you guys so much for watching if you like this content don't forget to like comment subscribe all that good stuff and with that being said i will see you in the next video bye